Good morning children. Today we are going to start a new chapter multiplication and our today's topic is introduction and properties of multiplication. All of you look at the board. Children look here. What is given here in this picture? Some cherries are given here. Is it children? Now look how many groups of cherries are given here? 1, 2, 3. 3 groups of cherries are given here. Let's count how many cherries are there in each group. So in the first group 1, 2. 2 cherries are here. So I am writing here 2 plus again 1, 2. Second group also having 2 cherries plus again 1, 2. Third group is also having 2 cherries is equal to children all together how many cherries are here let's count 1 2 3 4 5 6 so all together 6 cherries are here so read once again 2 plus 2 plus 2 is equal to 6 is it children so we can say that 3 groups of 2 cherries each. Is it? We can write it like that. 3 groups of 3 groups of 2 cherries each is equal to altogether how many cherries we get? 6 cherries. So children, 3 groups of 2 cherries each, we will get all together 6 cherries. Okay, so we can write this as 3 times 2. Is it correct children? 3 times 2 is equal to 6. So once again, 2 plus 2 plus 2 is equal to 6. Otherwise, we can write, read it as 3 groups of 2 cherries each is equal to 6 cherries. Otherwise, we can read it as 3 times 2 is equal to 6. Instead of writing all these things, we can write this 3 into 2 is equal to 6. So, here we are using the symbol INDU. Okay, children. Let's look one more example. Look here. Some balloons are given here. Okay. How many groups are here? 1, 2, 3, 4 groups are here. And how many balloons are there in each group? Let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 balloons. So, I can write here 5 Plus, again, in the second group, how many balloons are there? Same. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 again. Plus, again, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 here. Plus, again, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 is equal to all together how many balloons are here let's count 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 so all together 20 balloons are here so i write here 5 plus 5 plus 5 plus 5 is equal to 20 and I can write this again how many groups of balloons are here 4 groups of balloons so I can write it as 4 groups of how many balloons in each group 5 5 balloons each is equal to altogether how many balloons are there? 20 balloons. Now children, I can write this in times. How we will write? 4 times 5 is equal to 20. 
So once again I am saying 5 plus 5 plus 5 plus 5 is equal to all together we count we got it 20 balloons are there and we can say once again like this 4 groups of 5 balloons each is equal to 20 balloons and we can write in times 4 times 5 is equal to 20 instead of writing this we can write 4 into 5 is equal to 20. Here I am using the symbol into. So children what actually we are doing here? We are adding the same number again and again. How many times we are adding? So let's write it like this. How many times we are adding? Which number is equal to the total number okay so what is multiplication multiplication means repeated addition of the same number here I am adding the same number 5 how many times I am adding the number 5 4 times I am adding the same number 5 is it children so this way we are adding the same number repeated addition is called multiplication okay let's read this repeated addition of the same number is called multiplication and the answer we get is called product this also you studied in your first standard is it children repeated addition is called multiplication and after multiplying two numbers we will get an answer the answer in multiplication is called product and which sign we are using for multiplication the sign used for multiplication is into we use here 4 into 5 is equal to 20 okay so once again we will read repeated addition of the same number is called multiplication and the answer we get is the product the sign used for multiplication is into is it clear we just revise all these things all these things you studied in your first standard okay children now let's discuss the properties of multiplication okay so in addition and subtraction also we study some rules some properties here for multiplication also we have to study some properties of multiplication the first one order in multiplication okay children let's look two times 5 is 10 how we will write this using the multiplication symbol 2 into 5 is equal to 10 is it children 2 times 5 is 10 I can write it as 2 into 5 is equal to 10 now look at the second one 5 times 2 is 10 how we will write in multiplication 5 into 2 is equal to 10 okay now look at this 2 2 into 5 is equal to 10 here 5 into 2 is equal to 10 what is happening here both the answers are same 10 10 but the question look at the questions here 2 into 5 what happened here 5 into 2 that means the order of the numbers changed okay so what is the rule when we change the order of the numbers being multiplied the answer or answer have another name what was that product remains the same got it that means if the order of the numbers being multiplied if we change the order of the numbers being multiplied answer remains the same number okay so here 2 into 5 is 10 and 5 into 2 is also 10 clear now let's discuss the second question second property of multiplication multiplying by 0 look children you can see fruit basket how many groups are here one two two groups are given here and children you can see the empty basket is I kept any fruits inside the basket no nothing is there so if anything is nothing is there we will write zero is it children zero 
and the second basket is there anything no nothing so we can write 0 plus 0 otherwise 2 times 0 is it children 2 times 0 what is the answer 0 plus 0 0 so 2 times 0 is 0 now what will happen even I add one more group if I put one more empty basket over there what will happen 0 plus 0 plus 0 that means 3 times 0 answer is what 0 so what is the rule when we multiply any number by 0 the answer is always 0 once again here two groups are given here in the first one it's a empty basket nothing is there no fruits are kept over there so we can put zero the second one also nothing is there so zero plus zero zero that means two zero two times zero is equal to zero even if we add again and again one more basket zero plus zero plus zero what will be there zero is the same so 3 times 0 is also 0. So, the what will be the rule? When we multiply any number by 0, the answer is always 0. Clear? Now, let us discuss the third properties of multiplication. Multiplying by 1. Look here children, you can see rose, rose flower, is it? Now, here how many groups are here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 groups are here. But in each group, how many flowers are given here? Only one flower, is it? So, how can I write this children? 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1. What is the answer? Count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, how can I write this children using multiplication sign? 5 times 1 is equal to 5. Is it? Children, once again here 5 groups are given here and in each group 1, 1 roses are here. So, 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 is equal to 5. Otherwise, 5 times 1 is equal to 5. Is it? Now, what will happen even if I add one more rose? What will happen? Again, 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1. So, altogether 6 will be there. That means 6 times 1 is equal to 6. So, what will be the rule? When we multiply any number by 1, the answer is the same number. When we multiply any number by 1, the answer is the same number. Clear? So children, today we study the introduction of multiplication and the three properties of multiplication. Once again, we will revise which all are the properties of multiplication. When we multiply any number by 1, the answer is the same number. When we multiply any number by 0, the answer is always 0 and when we change the order of the numbers being multiplied, the answer or product remains the same. Okay. So, revise all these three properties and read your worksheet well. Practice it. So, that is all for today's class. See you in the next class. Thank you.